Hi Y3, today we're going to have a go at learning to tell the time on an analogue clock to the nearest five minutes. So I'm going to start off with just one hand, which is the minute hand. It's the longer hand, it's the minute hand. Uh, so we're just going to focus on that for now. Okay. So as you know, in an hour there are 60 minutes. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Hopefully by now you will recognise that when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, so when it's right up facing up at the top, that is o'clock. So at the moment it's no minutes past the hour. It's bang on the hour, okay? So let's have a go at telling the time when the minute hand is pointing to one of these numbers here on this half of the clock. And when it's pointing to one of these numbers, we use the word past because it's so many minutes past the hour. So you know that this one is o'clock. Count round in fives. Can you remember what this one is? When it's pointing to the one, it is five minutes past, five minutes past. Keep counting in five, so zero, five, ten. If it's pointing at the two, it's ten past the hour, okay? So zero, five past, ten past, fifteen minutes past, but we call that quarter past. So it's 15 minutes past, but we call it quarter past. It's quarter past the hour. 20 past. 25 past. And finally, half past. Okay, so on this side of the clock, it's past, we say past. It's so many minutes past the hour. But once you've gone past half past, you use the word to, and then it's so many minutes to the next hour. Okay, um, if you remember on one of my last videos, I said to you Y3, imagine that there is a mirror running straight down the clock, down the middle of the clock, okay? So if this is five past, on this side, it will be five, two. If this is 10 past, 10, two. Quarter past, quarter two. 20 past, 22. 25 past, 25, two. Okay, let's have a go. So, so we know that one hopefully really well by now, so I'm not gonna write that one on. So if I put here, look, this is the past side. Okay, and this side is two. So we've got the past side and we've got the two side. Just checking my wall. Imagine if I'd if it had gone through onto the wall I threw. Ah okay, so <coughs> so if this is Five past the hour, five past, then this side is five two. Okay, it's like symmetrical, yeah, five two. Okay, so five past, five two. Ten past, ten past. So this side is 10, two. 10, two. 10 minutes to the next hour or 10 minutes past the hour. Okay, can you remember what this one is? Okay, so this one is, it's not 15 minutes past, it's quarter past. Quarter past but it's the same as 15 minutes okay so quarter past 15 minutes past the hour so 
So on this side then, if the other side's quarter past, if it's pointing to the nine, it must be quarter two. Quarter two. Okay. So if it's pointing here on this side to the four, it's 20 past, 20 minutes past the hour. So over here must be 22. 22, okay. Only two more to do, look. So if it's pointing here, look, counting round in fives, 20 past. 25 past. So then what's this one gonna be, Y3? This one's gonna be 25 to. 25 minutes to the next hour, okay? And then hopefully by now you know already half past and o'clock, half past o'clock. So, can you see, on the past side it counts up in fives, five past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 past, then half past, which is 30. But on this side, on the two side, it's counting backwards in fives. So 25 to, 20 to, quarter to, 10 to, five to, o'clock. So on your worksheet today, Y3, you have got um, lots of different clocks to have a look at. See if you can tell the time. We're going to have a bit of a practice now. I'm going to put a, I'm going to get a minute hand and we're going to have a go at practicing some of the times, okay. So right now the time is eight o'clock. The minute hand is pointing at the 12, the hour hand is pointing to the eight, so eight o'clock. Now it is five minutes past eight. Five minutes past the hour. 10 minutes past eight. Quarter past eight. 20 past eight. 25 past eight. Half past eight. Okay, so now we say, 25 to, and it's the next hour we're looking at. So we're not looking at eight anymore, we're looking at the number nine, okay? So it's 25 to the next hour, which is nine. 25 minutes to nine. 20 to nine. 10 to nine, five minutes to nine, and now it is nine o'clock. Okay, so we'll have a go at some together then, Y3. If you've got a piece of paper, um, get that now, get something to write on and have a go. So I've got my hour hand here, my shorter hand, and I've got my minute hand here, my uh, longer hand, okay. Right then, so let's have a look. I'm gonna put my hour hand here and my minute hand here, okay. Have a look, Y3, what do you think the time is? What do you think the time is? Okay, so if I were you, I'd start off by looking at the minute hand and the minute hand is pointing to 11, which says five, two, okay. So that part's not too tricky, is it? So it's five, two, which means it's five minutes, two. And then if we have a look at the hour here, so the hour hand is in the middle of eight and nine. The next hour at o'clock will be nine o'clock. So it's five minutes to nine. Five minutes to nine. Okay, let's have a go at another one. So, five 
have a go at this one then, my three. So this time, the minute hand is pointing here to the nine. Okay, so it's quarter two, and the next hour is gonna be seven, so it's quarter to seven. Quarter to seven. What is the time now? Have a look, have a look at the minute hand, how many minutes? It's on the past side, this side. Have a look at the hour hand, look at the numbers that it's in between. Okay, well done Y3 if you thought it was 10 past four. 10 minutes past four, it's not reached the five yet, so it's 10 past four. Okay, have a go at this one. So it's on the pass side again. The minute hand is pointing to five pass and it's five past six. Five past six. So the minute hand, is it on the pass side or is it on the two side? So the minute hand is on the two side, it's 25 to the next hour, which will be 11 o'clock. So this time is 25 to 11, 25 to 11. Okay, next one. The trickiest part about this one, Y3, is looking at the hour hand. So well done if you said half past, but is it half past eight or half past nine? What do you think? So the time is half past eight because it's not reached the nine yet. Okay, so we're looking at this number here half past eight. Only when it goes on to the two side do we have to look at the, what the next hour will be. So now it's 25 to nine. 